Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand channel length modulation. We have already seen the basic conceptual understanding of channel length modulation. In this clip, we are trying to understand what will be the effect of channel length modulation on my drain current or ID. Let's quickly get started with a very straightforward cross-sectional view of my NMOS transistor where my source and body both are grounded. This both are grounded means there will be no substrate bias effect or no body effect because both of them are connected to the same terminal. My VGS and VDS are external voltages. My VGS is greater than VTO. It's not a no remember, it's VT0. Zero. zero means zero substrate bias effect. That means source and body both are connected to the same potential. Because my VGS is greater than VT, my inversion layer is formed. We can see the inversion layer present here. And this is nothing but the one which have I've drawn with a pink color. It's nothing but the depletion region around the drain and my source. Now, we need to find out the effect of channel and modulation on current ID. Before we do that, we need to take certain parameters into consideration and that is nothing but finding out the channel voltage through which we'll find out the charge on the channel and we'll see even when saturation takes place, how does ID flows and due to channel and modulation, what eventually happens to ID. So for that, I've written a new term here, which is nothing but VC, voltage of the channel, with respect to the coordinate Y. This is Y equal to zero, and this is Y equal to L, and this is the place where my channel will be formed. So I'm going to write the voltage of my channel with respect to source as VC bracket Y. Y can get different values from zero to L. I'll also make an assumption that the entire channel, I will have a threshold voltage which will be nearly constant. Technically, it's not to be, but here as an assumption, I will assume it to be that way. So with that in mind, what we need to understand is two boundary conditions. Boundary conditions is nothing but VCY when Y is equal to zero and VCY when Y is equal to L. So VCY equal to zero at source at source the channel voltage is going to be nothing but Vs which is nothing but 0 so is equal to 0. At drain y equal to L it's at drain Vc equal to is nothing but drain voltage but I can easily say drain voltage is nothing but Vds because Vds is nothing but Vd minus Vs and source is 0 so it's nothing but Vd. So these are my two boundary conditions and the last thing which we need to keep in mind is there are two electric fields in a MOSFET. One is this lateral electric field which is given by VDS by the length of the channel another one is a vertical one which is given by VGS by thickness oxide with this basics we are all set to start so let's find the total charge in the inversion layer which is given by Q1Y this charge Q1Y will find out for Y equal to 0 and Y equal to L and then see what's going to happen so let's find the general equation for this first so let's write the general equation the charge in the channel is nothing but electrons so it's a negative charge so first we'll put a minus sign the capacitance is nothing but oxide capacitance so it's cox into the voltage now voltage would be nothing but the total voltage to turn on the transistor which is nothing but vgs minus the voltage which is constant across the channel which we just saw in the previous clip which is nothing but vto minus the voltage which will be actually present at each and every node on the channel which is nothing but VCY. I'm trying to find out how much voltage would I have in total to multiply this with this capacitance to find the total charge which is nothing but VGS minus VTO minus VCY constant at different nodes on the channel and required for the transistor to turn on. So let's see what is the value of Q1 at Y equal to 0 y equal to 0 is nothing but the source so at that point of time we saw that vs was equal to 0 vcy is nothing but vc at y equal to 0 which is nothing but vs which is 0 so this is nothing but vgs minus vto at y equal to l this is nothing but y equal to l is nothing but at drain we have already seen that that voltage is nothing but vds we have seen this in the previous clip vgs minus sorry in the previous slide minus vto minus vds now we know that at y equal to L, if the saturation has taken place, then we need to find out what is the equation of the voltage or what is the voltage present on the channel and what is the total charge. Okay. What is the voltage on the channel when saturation takes place at saturation and what will be the total charge 
in the channel during saturation. These are the two things which you are concerned with. 